So we synthesize and test gold nanoparticles for future treatment in cancer research. So what our research deals with is to create potential drug therapies that can be used to target both viral and bacterial infections. In simplest terms, my research is studying how much renewable energy we could create using solar panels on campus. Currently, we know that they're like the Great Barrier Reef and other coral reefs are dying out in droves. And what we're trying to do is figure out um, just one, the causes of that. And learning the causes can help us figure out ways to prevent it and lessen the damage. So we work with a model organism called planarian, which are flatworms that have the ability to regenerate. And so we use these organisms to study how stem cells work in, in aging. And so we can use that to study some of the premature aging syndromes within humans. When you actually see an application and how it's used and how it can be changed, that's actually one of the most like, exciting parts because then you can alter, you can basically become scientists like you dreamed of as a child. So we are trying to, uh, to find out the different species of viruses that the different mosquitoes uh, carry in a Houston. We're researching a new tuberculosis drug developed by our collaborator at Texas Southern University. Um, they're doing a whole bunch of tuberculosis research and we're doing research on mammalian cells to determine if the drug is potentially safe to give to humans and move on to mouse and later human trials. We're trying to make a, an organic light emitting diode and so that calls for making polymers that are uh, soluble enough to basically pass enough curtain so they'll last and uh, essentially make brighter LEDs and uh, that, that will last a little bit longer than they do now. My project is basically about uh, telomeric protein interactions with uh, other proteins that are involved in DNA repair. My research project is about using natural gas as a way to um, yield useful products out of them such as plastics and um, using it to convert to electricity. The coolest part would be that the research is actually applicable to you know a real field and the drug that we're researching now may actually be used to help save lives in the future. Working with professors is so personal. For example, my professor has been able to help me get into medical school because she knows me so well now that she can really test to my um, skills and abilities and so she's been a major part of me getting into medical school. So.